but yeah, you, you sort of bring this up, you know, and, and what is your kind of hope or, or something like hope that you can take from this whole debacle, this whole thing? What do you, what do you hope, what is the best hope that you have out of all of this? Well, I mean, I do, I agree with you, and I think we are reaching a breaking strain, um, but I'm a little bit more optimistic. I'm apt, I'm, I mean, I have some optimism about the reasons for it. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the country at, at, at large is moving away ideological, ideologically from the gatekeeper representatives for this sort of dying paradigm. I mean, two thirds of Republicans believe in climate change and think that their representatives are off the bay are, are, are off the margin on it. But we get, I mean, there's some systemic things that we have to address. For example, um, the state of Utah, which I think at last count had 14 people, uh, <laughs> has the same exact number of senators as the states of California and New York and New Jersey. Um, which, which means that the, the balance of power is skewed towards a small and dwindling group of people who are, seeing, who, are, who are fighting tooth and nail because they're no longer the center of attention anymore. They're not the center of the culture. Other voices are being heard now, and it drives them up the wall, and it scares them. You know, they, 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 they feel themselves sliding into irrelevance, and they don't know what to do about it because sharing is not in their lexicon. Um... So this is this is the dying scream of uh, a way of life that's gone on for too long. It was Mitch McConnell the other day was talking about the Green New Deal and Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, and he says, "I don't believe I've ever, I've, it's ever in my political career, I've ever experienced watching the essence of America get debated." And I sat back for I read an article about this. I sat back for it, and I was like, "You're damn right, Mitch." We're not just debating it; we're throttling it because your essence is the, the 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 concept of the colonialists looking at this country as a land to be peeled, and not as a place where the the framers wrote all men are created equal. They might not have meant it, but they wrote it and they signed it, and we're going to hold them to it. Um, that the the, the 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 idea of this country as a place for plunder and a place for people to be exploited is being strongly challenged. And the reason why it hasn't changed so dramatically is because the people who sort of hold the reins on that paradigm also have all the money. And they've got a locked-in voter base, a uh, very small number of people who wield a great amount of influence because of the DNA of the, the constitutional structure of the country. Again, we get back to the two senators for 14 people in Utah. Um, I have hope that this is my hope is that this is and it's going to be awful and it's going to be ugly but this is i really do strongly believe that the the dying scream of the people who got us into this climate change mess in the first place i would i would hope that people who believe themselves to be interested in politics and interested in you know seeing this person um put out of office one way or the other by the ballot box or by the impeachment hearing, um, pay more attention to the actual process. I mean, understand that one of the things that we're fighting for is the process. I mean, in, in the United States, things are supposed to go slow and take time and be maddening and frustrating because when things go fast, that's when bad stuff happens. Right after 9-11, things went fast. Very quickly, we found ourselves in two wars while being totally surveilled by the federal government. And nobody stopped to think about it because we were scared and we got buffaloed and why don't you support the troops and all that crap. And here we are 18 years later in a world of that making. That world was made in a few short weeks. So when things go fast, that's when you start buying canned goods. It's supposed to go slow. We are fighting for the concept of process, for the concept of the of the due process of law and the rule of law. This guy, this guy doesn't want any part of it because he doesn't think it applies to him. And his friends believe exactly the same thing. And screw them. We are we are here to defend the the, the pushing of paper and the process itself. <laughs> 
has enormous value, if only because it allows us to slow down and think. Mm. I think I think you're the first person I've interviewed who's a uh, who said that <laughs> on my podcast. Yeah, I, I somebody that's advocating in a sense for uh, a kind of beer. I mean, I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but a bureaucratic process, which is like you know, it's legal. It's it's on the books. It's it's a process. You know, and, I, and, and everybody can everybody can see it in the bro- This is one of the things that's most dangerous about what's going on these days. And this is the problem on the left. It's a huge problem on the left. It's a huge problem everywhere. Everybody is so good. You can chart the the decline in voter participation with the rise of the oligarchy. Nature abhors a vacuum. Voting is part of the process too. And if you don't vote, someone else is gonna. And we still count the votes, and the votes still put certain people in office. The people who didn't vote in 2016 outnumbered the people who voted for Hillary and the people who voted for Donald combined. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I don't know how much more evidence people need that these, you see, you look in the mainstream media and they, they love the hysterics about, oh, we're a divided country. We're not a divided country. Most people agree with us, but the small group of people that don't agree with us and have the, like, have the absolute need to follow an authoritarian leader and are white nationalists or white supremacists or Christian identity or what, what the hell ever have you. And there's a fair sample of them in the country, and they've all found each other on the Internet. They always vote. That's why the country is in the mess that it's in. They always, always vote. And if they're not outvoted, they win. So I am a I am a huge advocate of process. My father spent his entire life in public service. My my mother is running is 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 on the town council of the of the little New Hampshire town that she lives in, and it's all about making sure that the garbage picked up, it gets picked up and the roads get plowed and people don't see the work that goes into it. They just know that they can get to work in the morning, you know. And all of that is process. And all of it is laid down in rules and codicils and things that people can vote on and participate in. And all of it takes time. And I mean, I understand, I understand that everybody, you know, everybody's walking around talking about, well, we need a revolution. Anyone who's talking about wanting to have a violent revolution has never seen one. And, 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 and probably I'm going to be, I'm going to bet once no part of one, you know, we, we, we don't need, that's Rwanda. That's, uh, that's 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 Chechnya. That's that's really really bad news. We have something in this country that is incredibly flawed and incredibly fragile, but it's also something that baked into the DNA of the country is the ability to self improve, and the way the way to do that is to go through the process, and and understand how this stuff works. If you stop ten people on the street and ask them how many people sit. In the House of Representatives, I bet seven of them don't know the answer. And that's a huge problem. People are complaining, rightfully so, that everything's gone to shit, by, gone to hell, pardon my language. You can, you can swear, it's fine. Oh, fantastic. I should have told you that. Uh, people complaining that everything's gone to shit, but they don't know, you know, how the phones work. Right. It's, it, it's so, yeah, yeah, I'll argue for process. Process is going to get us out of this. Process is what we're defending. Process is what this guy Trump is out to destroy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not on my watch. 